Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. That's one strange looking title, isn't it? Now, here's the deal. If you have used you know, public Wi-Fi before in the past, you realize that some services basically do this, right? You try to open a page, say Google, but instead of letting you go to that page, it shows you a login page first. You are required to perhaps do some kind of verification or login process before you can start to use that Wi-Fi freely. As you can imagine, this would be rather disorienting and confusing for the user, which is why browsers have an interest in detecting and reporting this. This login page is called a captive portal. And I guess the name sort of makes sense, right? It's a portal that sort of catches you there. You have to do something before you are released to go through to your actual website. Now, I'm not sure how other browsers do it, but when it comes to Firefox, they do it in a very interesting way. Essentially, before anything really begins, Firefox tries to connect to this website called detectportal.firefox.com. And all that page contains is the single word success. Here's the deal. If you are browsing the internet with a captive portal, you know, active, when Firefox tries to browse to that particular URL, it will of course get redirected to the login page. As a result, it knows if it doesn't see success, it must be stuck behind a captive portal. If it sees success, that implies that there is nothing blocking your connection. There is nothing that stops you from just going right out to the internet. And as a result, there is no captive portal. That I thought was a very interesting and simple approach of yeah, figuring out whether a captive portal was there or not. Other browsers generally take the same approach. They will attempt to fetch a file from the internet and see if that is successful. If it fails or somehow gives you something different, that implies you're stuck behind a captive portal. And there you have it. That's the simple idea behind a captive portal, right? What it does and you know what potential issues it may create. But yeah, that's it. Hope you gained some insight today. And until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with Nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.